uh, in this video uh, what we are going to show is uh, how to fly our hobby science moth model uh, this is the medium sized uh, or uh, you know big big model from our hobby science lineup of aero modeling kits and uh, <laughs> these are the two planes we have got for our uh, uh, demonstration purpose these planes really fly uh, really high and also for a long time if you properly adjust it and fine tune it now the steps to fly this model is the same as uh, for our other models before uh, starting to fly you need to check three things one is the three tests that we talk about regularly uh, first is the center of gravity test and the second is the gliding test and third is the uh, half power test so we will do all these tests for these models and see how they are uh, 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 how they are how, how to tune this model now uh, i'll take this plane first is the center of gravity test now for the center of gravity test uh, if you have built our previous models you know that in our planned drawing sheet there is a spot for in the fuselage called as uh, cg cg stands for center of gravity and there the plane should balance from nose to tail okay and in the plan let's look at the planned drawing sheet for the moth and see where the center of gravity is Hi, this is the moth uh, plan drawing sheet, hobby science moth uh, model, arrow modeling kit. And in this, uh, the center of gravity point is uh, near the second uh, pillar of the uh, window cabin. Now, this is the second pillar, first pillar is here, second pillar. And here you see one arrow, this arrow, this is the center of gravity balance point. So, what it means is at this point, the plane should balance when you hold it hold the wing under when you hold under the wing at this point on both the sides then the plane should balance nose and tail in a horizontal line so that's the center of gravity point with that we will see how to balance the plane uh, in the plan drawing sheet as we saw the center of gravity is over here of the first uh, cabin window uh, the pillar of the first cabin window so that's where the plane should balance let us see how it is balancing so to balance you hold the uh, plane like this you have to first uh, fix the rubber motor and the propeller and the landing gear everything to check the center of gravity now to check the center of gravity keep your finger like this okay and on the two fingertips just to explain and on these two fingertips, try to balance the wing at that center of gravity point mentioned in the plan drawing sheet. I'll show you how. Take the plane, keep your finger like this, and then try to, without touching the fuselage, just under the wing, keep your hand like this. Yeah? Or if you cannot do it with one hand, do it like this. Keep both the hands like this. Keep it like this. And on the tip of these two fingers, Try to balance the plane under the wing at the center of gravity point. So something like this. Okay, I'm trying to balance it. Balance the plane. And now this plane, what it is doing is, it is uh, not level. If the center of gravity is correctly there, then the plane should actually stay like this. I'm holding it uh, with my thumb. It should be level like this yeah and slightly nose down it should be but in this plane what is happening is if i try to balance it it is uh, the nose is coming up so which means it is having uh, very high tail weight and we need to add little bit of nose weight to this plane but i'll show also show you what if we do not add the nose weight what will happen if we do not add the nose weight uh, Without even adding nose weight, let's go to the second test. In the CG test, we see that the nose is up, which means there is the tail weight is heavy, which again means we need to add little bit of nose weight to bring the nose down when we balance it in the CG test. Now, uh, I will show you how the plane will fly if we do not correct this problem. Now, this plane is having a problem wherein the tail is heavy and the nose is not as heavy. It should be level when we balance it but it is standing like this that is the problem and if we try to fly the plane when it is balancing like this I will show you what happens by doing a gliding test 
it, when we launch it for gliding test, launch it at eye level. Don't try to launch it like this. Don't try launch it at a straight angle, straight the same level, this level. Don't try to launch at this angle or this angle. Just launch it at a uh, same level at your eye, and then the plane should go straight and then gradually keep coming down. So when that happens, the gliding test uh, is uh, supposed to be, uh, you know, uh, uh, having good results. So now uh, you saw the videos and the plane what it is doing is it flies like this goes up and then after that falls that is called as stalling stalling is stopping now the plane because it is having very less nose weight it is climbing very very at a steep angle and when the plane climbs at steep angle the plane will not be able to fly uh, fly, fly properly and it will stop in the air and then when it stops it will automatically keep falling down that is what is happening with the plane now now that is the why that is happening is because the center of gravity test when we do the plane is looking like this like see this you can clearly see this clearly I am balancing the plane at the point where the center of gravity is mentioned in the plan drawing sheet and when I balance it instead of being level it is being nose up if it is nose up this is the problem that will happen where the plane will go up like this and then fall down now in the glide test also it was saying that we need to add nose weight when this problem happens we need to add nose weight to the plane okay so to add nose weight what we will do is we will add some 3 mm nuts to the nose of this plane now uh, we need to add nose weight to this plane so how to add nose weight is remove the propeller assembly and uh, what you do is in this part the flat part is there there or over here anywhere you can take this small 3 mm nuts oh, okay and uh, what you do is add keep it keep the nuts here I am going to keep about uh, approximately 4 because the plane is stalling very high uh, and then put some glue over here around the nuts ensure that you don't put glue near this propeller shaft this 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 shaft near that don't put the glue because it will get stuck and it will not spin freely now wait for about uh, 20 seconds and it yeah now it is totally dry now with this weight we will see how the plane is flying now we have added this nose weight let us see again whenever you add nose weight you will have to again do the CG check so check the center of gravity and also do a gliding test now I have added this nose weight four nuts are there you can see this I will connect this uh, rubber motor again to the hook propeller uh, shaft hook I connected it now let us see how the center of gravity is uh, affected So this is how you add nose weight to a plane. Now let me do the check. I'm just trying to hold it. Ah, now after adding nose weight, you see this. Earlier the plane was standing like this when I was doing the center of gravity test. But now if I try to balance it on the CG point, it is level. You see that? Now after adding the nose weight, the plane is level and this is how the plane should be 
for flying for flying correctly earlier it was standing like this now from the front also you can see the plane is not pointing upwards to the sky but at a level at a uh, from a horizontal plane it is a level yeah you can see this okay now cg is correct after our uh, uh, cg test the plane looks correct now let us do the gliding test uh, okay now we, uh, we did the gliding test and in the gliding test you saw that the plane is going level uh, it is not stalling it was no, earlier before the adding the nose weight this plane what it was doing was it was going like this stopping there and then falling down and that is called stalling we corrected the stalling by adding nose weight you saw that we added four uh, nuts to the nose block and that increased the weight and that also helped the plane stay level like if i try to balance it at the cg point you see this at the cg point i am balancing and the plane is just uh, level if i touch the plane also it is coming to it is swinging and uh, it will just come to the uh, balance at that point so now the gliding test is good the good result for a gliding test is the plane should fly straight and then gradually come down uh, and then uh, you know hit the ground so now the gliding test is uh, successful we will do the half power test now why half power is this rubber motor it, you can uh, wind it up to maximum of about 450 times this length of rubber motor it is three loops of 2 mm thick rubber you can wind it around to 450 times but they don't do that at uh, 450 times at the beginning itself do it maybe maximum of 100 times only like half power test that is why we call it half power or quarter power test do it about 100 times and then launch the plane and see because even after uh, doing uh, well in the gliding test sometimes the plane might still have some uh, problematic characters ca characteristics for us to adjust that we need to do a half power test do it only 100 times spin the propeller 100 times and then launch it into the wind always while launching launch it into the wind gliding test also you need to launch into the wind and while launching with the motor also uh, with the rubber motor wound uh, wound up also you have to launch it into the wind so we are going to wind it for 100 times and then see how the plane is going to fly i'll have my friend uh, uh, assist me for uh, winding it what you do is for winding it have somebody do you know have somebody your friend hold the plane now to hold the plane here is where you have attached the rubber motor keep your finger like this and then put your finger over the toothpick which is holding the rubber motor like this so my friend is going to hold that way and you what you do is stretch the rubber band stretch the rubber band like this and you keep a finger behind the nose block like this and then start spinning and start counting you can do it by uh, your own hand or what you can do is you can do with our uh, hobby science uh, Uh, rubber motor winder also if you want to but even with your hand you can easily do it if you don't want to spin it with your hand you can always uh, you know uh, go and choose our uh, hobby science rubber motor winder i'll use a rubber motor winder i'm going to use a rubber motor winder because it is easier in this rubber motor winder you have to rotate it anti clockwise and for every one rotation you will have 3.5 rotations here so if you want 100 rotations 100 times you want to rotate it here you need to do it only 30 times with this so it is faster because it is having a, a gear system it will be a, you can uh, spin it faster okay now i have made about approximately 100 turns of this rubber motor with this we will see how the plane is flying
now we have seen the half power test with the 100 uh, turning turns of the rubber motor and uh, it was flying nice. So that's how in a half power test the plane should fly. It should go straight and as the power gets reduced it will gradually come down to the ground. And uh, it was not going up, it was not diving, so it was flying good. Now the plane is ready for giving full power of around 450 tons. Now uh, while launching what you do is after rotating it, hold the plane in with one hand, always hold the plane in a place where there is wood, the frame, wooden frame is there, hold it here, don't, don't try to hold here or any of these paper places because you will destroy the paper and also wrinkle it and also you may tear it. Hold the plane always on the wooden part, like this, the frame, on the frame. And after the motor has been wound up, keep keep your finger, keep hold the, hold the fix the uh, propeller block tightly like this. It should not be fixed like this, or it should not be fixed like this. You know, ensure that it is fixed tightly like this, and hold the propeller with your other hand. And while launching it, remove this hand and then launch it at a straight angle don't again launch it at an upward angle this is wrong you have to release this propeller hand let it spin like this when you release the hand the propeller will spin start spinning because of the rubber motor just slowly launch it slowly just launch it at a uh, straight angle at your eye level just slowly launch the plane at your eye level into the uh, into the wind now we will go for a full power test of 450 motor, 450 turns of this rubber motor and see how this plane flies. So my friend is here helping me to wind this rubber motor. This is the way to hold the plane and what you do is stretch the rubber uh, to around uh, one and a half times its actual size, something like this. This is the actual size. Stretch the rubber band like this to one and a half time and then spin the motor. Then only you will be able to turn, uh, have so many turns. As you keep completing, uh, nearing the 400, and, uh, 400, keep coming closer. Okay, but uh, never go beyond 4, 400 because otherwise you might break the rubber. Yeah. So now approximately around 400 turns are there in this rubber motor. We will see how this plane flies. <laughs> 